hello my name is Paige welcome back to my channel today I want to tell you some books that are similar to other ones that I have read so if you ever have read a book and were like and thought I would love to read another book that is similar to this then I have read some that I think are pretty similar and so I will share them with you today I'm going to split this up into two videos because I had a 12 12 total which is like 24 books so I'm going to split this up into two different videos but this is the first one and I have uh, 12 books total six that are going to be you know pretty similar to each other the first one is Outlander this is a time traveling romance a girl accidentally gets thrown into the past in Scotland and she is trying to make her way back, you know, to the future. But she, along the way, she falls in love with a Scotsman named Jamie. Of course, if, I'm sure everyone knows of Outlander <laughs> by now. And uh, I first discovered it through the shows. And then I immediately had to read the books, which I haven't read all, them all. It's quite a, quite a, they're pretty long books and a pretty big series. But, um... I love Outlander so much and when I read What the Wind Knows by Amy Harmon it gave me Outlander vibes. So What the Wind Knows is about a girl who was also accidentally thrown into the past and there you know in the past she is living and she falls in love with a man in the past and so it has very similar Outlander vibes. And so I would say if you like Outlander, you would like What the Wind Knows. The next one is Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. I'm sure we've all read Birthday Girl by now. If you haven't, you really need to read it. It's such a good book. This is about a girl who moves in with her boyfriend to hit in his dad's house because they lost their place. She is very responsible, but he, her boyfriend is not. And they ended up living with her dad, with his dad. And she and his dad had already had a, a connection previously when they didn't know who each other were. And so now they're all living together. And he is, her boyfriend is just kind of, you know, flighty. They end up breaking up at some point. So, you know, when she is with his dad, she's not with him also. Um, there's no cheating, but they have a such a great connection in chemistry. I love their story. It's an age gap. It's just perfection. And so if you like Birthday Girl, I have two books that remind me of Birthday Girl. Of course, I mean, they aren't exactly the same and not as good, but these give me Birthday Girl vibes. So the first one is Him by L.L. Ash. This is a girl who moves in with her best friend's dad. She and her best friend are going to college in like a different state. So in order to save money, her dad lives, her best friend's dad lives nearby. And so they move in with him. And so she and her best friend, her best friend just decides to like not ever be around and join like the sorority club. And so she could just kind of leaves her friend with her dad all the time. And they also have that chemistry and connection like in Birthday Girl and she falls in love with her best friend's dad. The second book is The Doctor by Nikki Sloan. This is um, a girl who falls in love with her boyfriend's dad. They don't live together. I don't think it's been a while since I read this one, but I don't think they live together. But you know, she does, does end up falling in love with her boyfriend's dad. Um, and there is that age gap there as well. So good. Such a lovely series by Nikki Sloan. The next one is Radiance by Grace Draven. Radiance is such a good friends to lovers romance because this human girl is paired up with this other being, this other species. I don't remember what they're called, but you know, he's like an alien to her and they are completely different. They they look different. You know, they both think the other is so ugly. And uh, so they're, they have like a really good, strong friendship at first. They have really great conversation. They just get along wonderfully. 
even though they both think the other one is hideous. And love comes along later because they're actually in love with who they are instead of just basing it upon appearance and whatnot. The book, actually this, this whole series, but I put the first book down, but really you could read the whole series, has Radiance Fives is I Married a Lizard Man by Regine Abel because this is also an alien romance. She is married to this lizard man and through, you know, like a, a marriage of convenience. This human girl marries this lizard man due, in, due to this matchmaking service that matches them together because she is kind of like in the same situation as the girl in Radiance. She's like the third daughter. There's she's really has no worth to her family. So they just kind of like marry her off. And so she ends up marrying this lizard man and is in part of his community. And even though they are completely different, they form that friendship, which then ends up turning into love later on. And it's just such great friends to lovers romances. The next one is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This is about two people who work together. It's the hero and the heroine of the story. They are in competition for each other's jobs and they just are all the time in competition with each other and she just has a very sunshiny uh, disposition and he is really cold and aloof and she <laughs> they kind of like started off their you know working relationship on the wrong foot because she was very friendly to him and he is not really that way and she took it the wrong way she thought that he was just being very cruel and so now they're like <laughs> enemies work enemies and um but he's really doesn't hate her you know he's she just kind of has to learn like how he functions and whatnot and so it really gave me strong vibes when I read The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lease. This gave me such strong hating game vibes because these are also the heroine and heroine work together at this bookstore. She has a very sunny disposition. He's very cold and aloof and she just thinks that he's like the grouch. He just doesn't care about anything where like she doesn't understand everything he does behind the scenes to try to save their bookstore and uh, so they are kind of enemies <laughs> even though he cares a lot about her he just doesn't really know how to show her outwardly and expresses little to no emotion <laughs> they're both kind of like enemies to lovers where they totally started off on the wrong foot but then kind of came around to like oh well we don't really hate each other they just had this like miscommunication the next one is love her or lose her by tessa bailey this is a marriage in trouble they are, you know, <laughs> miscommunicating with each other terribly and she has left him because they are on the brink of divorce. He agrees to go to marriage counseling with her and then they begin their counseling and they kind of realize that they have just, they speak completely different love languages and that can be a huge factor in marriage issues, marriage problems, when you have to learn how to speak your spouse's love language. So the book that reminds me of Love Her Loser is Ever After Always by Chloe Lee. This is the third book in the Berkman Brothers series which follows the sister of the Bergman family. She and her husband are also having severe miscommunication with each other. You know, she thinks that he thinks this way and, you know, he thinks she thinks this way and it's just, they are not on the same page with each other and their marriage is going down the, t you know, going downhill and they are fighting for their marriage and it's on the brink of divorce for them as well. And so these are both good marriage in trouble books and that, you know, do have happily ever afters. And then the last one for this video is A Life or a Lie by Helena Hunting. This is about a, a hockey player who goes to um, this cabin. It's like a tradition for his dad and his brothers. Every year they go off to this uh, cabin in Alaska. It's very remote wilderness type of place. And he gets there and he meets this girl who is there for research. 
and <laughs> they're just she's staying in a pretty bad cabin and so he you know kind of takes her under his wing and they just really become friends and then it leads to more and they have you know relationship while they're there but then they eventually have to leave then they uh, somehow do not exchange phone numbers or names or anything because he had given her a fake name because he's like a famous hockey player and he didn't want her to know that he just wanted her to look at him for like who he was instead of being this famous hockey player she ends up being pregnant and so he has this baby that he has no clue about even she's tried to find him but you know she doesn't have his real name um until they meet later on just they just like accidentally run into each other and then they you know all of a sudden he has this baby that's his and that she's been raising on her own and it's it's a really really good story but the book that reminds me of that is Awkward Weird by Avery Flynn this kind of has the same vibes this was a he's also a hockey player in this book and him and the heroine of the story have a like one night stand from this wedding they had been to she ends up being pregnant which she does know who he is and is in contact with him throughout the whole thing so he knows that he has this baby coming but you know she does let him know you know you don't have to be a part you know I'm not I'm keeping the baby for myself but you know it's up to you but he chooses to be a part in his baby's life and of course in her life as well which leads to more but it just gave me the same vibe so if you like that one you'll like this one as well <laughs> So those are all the books that I have for this video. I do have more recommendations, so I'll, I'll put that in another video. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you like this, you'll like this type of recommendation. Let me know if I've missed any or if you have any to recommend to me. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.